good evening everybody long time no see there is no live streams for the last few months yeah so today i decided to do live stream because uh, everybody knows that uh, there are so many updates from Ukraine uh, and from Russia as well. Please write, can you hear me? Do you see me? Because I see comments. Hello, everybody. How do folks hear you? All right. Thank you, Jay. Whew. Yeah, 200 people here, 20 likes, yeah, please like this video. This space, hello, hello from village, Wojna Halubne. Hi there, Wojna, how are you? Oh, guys. <coughs> Uh, long time no see long time no streams yeah let's let's wait for more people because uh i started this stream without any uh announce yeah let me read some comments thanks everyone for your support for your kind words thanks everyone that you st still support ukraine after more than seven eight months yeah i i even lost how many months pass it's september yeah it's seven months already Yaks Prava Brat, Persian Lion. I'm okay, thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, you see, it's, uh, it's a little hard for me to do live stream after such break. Yeah, but let me check my mod. Yeah, mods are here. Thank you so much for helping me, Steven. Paolo. Uh, Paolo, so what's the word from the streets there? Well, you know, everyone is same. Yeah, even after this announce, yeah, everybody knows that uh, in the morning today, Putin announced uh, mobilization, partial mobilization in Russia. Uh, it seems to be partial, <coughs> but like I uh, read the document, and there is no definition that it's partial, so seems they can draft as many people as they as they want. But for Ukraine, it's uh, it's not the problem. In you, you know that after after our success in the east region, in the Kharkiv region, yeah, our troops uh, have liberated more than. 6,000 square kilometers and more than 300 villages just for less than a week and it's like it's so rapid and uh, you know that no one uh, didn't expect it was so so fast we just uh, checked and used because uh, you know for the last days like uh, everyone, everyone is following news, everyone is checking news just like uh, every second because uh, you know that uh, no one knows what will happen tomorrow, no one knows what will happen like tomorrow in an hour or two, same as for today. Like no one believed that uh, Putin declared that uh, mobilization because uh, like they uh, they said many many times that we don't have losses and uh, even today they uh, announced that they have uh, less than 6,000 losses 
and Ukraine has like uh, 100,000. So it seems that someone is lying. And, uh, and you know who, who is lying. JJ, is 300,000 more Russian troops going into Ukraine? Like they won, but you know that it's not gonna be like in one day, it's not gonna be in one week or even months because uh, even if they draft someone, they need to prepare th those people and it's not so fast. M maybe they just want to take as more and as they can and just uh, put them to the front lines like, like the meat. Uh, I can hear him loud and clear, I'm scared. What about these referendums? Yeah, it's uh, also a good question about the referendums because, uh, yeah, as you know, uh, two regions in the south part of Ukraine, uh, Kherson region and the half of Zaporizhia region. Uh, Dave Harvey. Привет, Dave. Yeah, привет. I will answer later. So the half of the Parisian region and the Kherson region is under occupation and they want to do referendum there. But I don't know how it's possible uh, because you know that many, many people uh, fled from those regions. And uh, as for the Parisian, uh, the Parisian region, the Parisian oblast in Ukrainian, uh, only the half of those of that region is under Russia. So the main city, Zaporizhia, is under our control. And uh, I don't know how it's possible to make referendum. Yeah, for sure, no one will recognize uh, that referendums. So I don't know why they want to do that. Maybe because they uh, understand that uh, like they have big problems and the Ukrainian counter-offense will be very, very soon. Roman Igorevich, Zorova. Mm, yeah. uh, as for Dave Harvey, um, yeah, because I see that uh, here we have some uh, questions in Russian, so I will answer to Dave. Uh, who knows, Dave? Я не знаю. Посмотрим позже, потому что сейчас пока ничего не известно. Yeah. Uh, everyone knows that uh, I also speak Russian, I speak Ukrainian, so uh, if someone asks me questions on Russian or Ukrainian, so I will answer to those people. Uh, how is Luba? Luba is good. Uh, yeah, let me read your comments and uh, answer. Uh, do not talk about Ukraine military planning. Like we have uh, this announced many, we had this announced many, many times. So, and of course, like uh, as for me, you know, I'm ordinary like civilian and uh, I don't know the real Ukrainian military plans. But uh, I believe that uh, <sighs> we'll see that plans very, very soon. Uh, Johnny Boy, I had a stupid question. Do Ukrainians and Russians speak the same language? Is the same? Is it the same language? Well, we have quite different languages because uh, in Ukraine uh, we have our main language and official is Ukrainian. In Russia, Russian. But many people in uh, Ukraine still speak Russian, or they use the mix of languages uh, which called Surzhik. This is like the few languages in one so this is like the half of ukrainian and the half of uh, russian language but yeah especially east region especially kharkiv uh, donetsk luhansk even in the south uh, like mikolaev or kherson mm, many people there are speaking russian some of them speaking ukrainian some of, spe of them speaking surzhik this mix but usually like yeah we speak same language but uh, our main and official language is ukrainian and uh, uh, more and more people 
trying to speak Ukrainian now after the war started. And uh, I, I personally, my opinion that we should use our our own language, Ukrainian, because we are like independent country, and we should, uh, yeah, we should use our own language. Yeah, let's go. Uh, uh, Darren and what are your plans for winter? How cold is it going to get? Are they going to be able to keep people from freezing to death? I don't have any plans for winter. It's gonna be cold. I mean, uh, yeah, every winter in Ukraine is cold. It could be like minus 20 Celsius, minus 15, minus 25. Uh, are they going to be able to keep people from freezing to death? Uh, if you're talking about troops, uh, I hope so. I hope that we have uh, like all clothes to keep people from freezing during the winter. And you know, seems if we will have war uh, during the winter, maybe it will be some not so active like now, because it will be not so comfortable to a any to to everyone. Uh, lots of protests occur in Moscow and St. Petersburg. God sign people have had enough. Mm. Another, another, uh, like, another side of this mobilization that now people who were, uh, who support this war, who are like, you know, these uh, Z patriots, who has these signs on the cars, uh, on the t-shirts everywhere now they have chance to show how they are really like patriots of Russia how they are ready to fight for Putin how they are ready to fight for like oligarchs so yeah but uh, on the other side yeah we have many many people who are <coughs> doing these protests and demonstrations and who are against the war just uh, from the starting Uh, <clears throat> over 106 over 1600 russian heroes arrested for demonstrating against the war yeah i heard that will ukraine government signed up civilians to fight eventually uh, every able-bodied man whether they like it or not david Tolan. as for signing up civilians uh, you see that uh, i'm still like uh, i'm still here i'm still not in the army but of course it depends uh, on the situation as for now, Ukrainian army is signed only uh, people who have a certain military military profession or certain military like speciality. Yeah, they didn't they they don't sign uh, just uh, civilians like me because uh, you know that uh, I don't have any like uh, military experience. I uh, haven't done active duty. I haven't been to the army, but. Uh, no one knows like we have several uh, waves of mobilization and as for now uh, only people who are like reservists or people who did active duty who was uh, in the army they are like uh, under the draft <coughs> uh, take seven do you plan to leave no i'm not I don't. Ukraine is like Portuguese. Portuguese people can speak Spanish, understand it, but Spanish people do not speak, understand Portuguese. Yeah, it's same like here. Like many uh, Ukrainian can understand and speak Russia, but uh, Russians they uh, can't speak Ukrainian, but some of them can't uh, can understand. <coughs> Pablo, military guy here. The mobilization will only feel the dead bodies Russia gave up. They have no real training or equipment. Ukraine is winning and Putin is desperate. Hi, Telly, thank you for a super chat. I agree with you. Uh, but isn't sound strange when they say that they have only uh, like uh, 6,000 losses, like 6,000 uh, soldiers who dead and uh, they want to do mobilization for 300 
k people like 300,000 people maybe like it's a bluff maybe it's not true but uh, yeah or maybe they just uh, lying of course they are lying about they are lying about everything because even yesterday uh, many of uh, Russian authorities uh, some deputies and the press secretary of uh, the Russian president everyone said that there is no plan like we don't have plans for mobilization like we don't need mobilization and today's speech you see yeah so i i don't believe to russian government i don't believe to those people no one the whole world don't believe them uh, one sec let me check I'm here. Uh, greetings from Philippines. Hi, Dennis. Uh, hey, man. Much love from Canada. Thank you so much, Red. Jen, it was nice to meet you. I'm sure you'll push them off the borders, but even with that, we may fear it will never be finished since you have a silly neighbor regime. And you know, yeah, this is the this is the biggest problem for us because uh, if we'll not uh, say goodbye to Russia now, it can repeat in a year in two years like in a half a year and this is the most terrible that we have such neighbor and we have uh, such two neighbors like uh, belarus and russia and it's so <sighs> i don't i don't know like english words to describe my my feelings about it uh sarah jane paulo i hope this is his it isn't a stupid question, but when do you think this war will end? <sighs> it's really hard question, Sarah. Uh, I wish it uh, be over as soon as possible, but uh, yeah, starting like let's uh, like come back, come back uh, five months ago, six months ago, when it just started. Like everyone saw that it's gonna be fast like till the like one month two months three months and some negotiations will happen but as for now you see that there is no there is nothing to discuss with russia there is nothing to negotiate with russia because they are they are sick they are just uh, they, they just want like to return soviet union time to unite all countries to unite all territory so i don't know it seems that it's gonna be like long long war till our victory of course but who knows maybe it will be like soon i wish it will be soon uh just in time why do russians talk about stepan bandera so much <laughs> I don't know, like, <laughs> we have many Ukrainians, Ukrainian uh, heroes and uh, such, many of such uh, people disturb Russians because maybe there is nothing more to, to say, like, you know, there is nothing more to, to hit me or to hit me like Ukrainian, so I, or to touch me like Ukrainian, like emotionally, I don't know maybe they maybe they like him yeah maybe they like him and uh, that's why they are talking too much uh, uh we don't have we don't have losses screws just know you're doing a huge service otherwise many are manipulated by emotions and misinformation uh and in their body good people will end to 2030 we'll win it i'll pray that's what I was told like you mean eight years more uh, you can't Ukraine be natural very cool like it, this question is not to me I can't answer like from the for all people for the government so does Ukraine need doctors mm. I haven't heard that we need doctors why can't men cross border 
It's a good question. Uh, first of all, because uh, we have war, and uh, like we need men to fight in case if the situation is gonna be worst. So yeah, <laughs> it's very simple. But of of course, like it's it's bad to our economic because many people who are work working abroad, who are sailors or who are the truck drivers who worked abroad before war started can't live now maybe soon uh, our government will change something maybe no i don't know <laughs> but uh, of course it's uh, like to keep uh, all men here and uh, in case of a uh, bad situation uh, like to be ready our government uh, told to all men like to all citizens like uh, everyone should be ready to fight like not to join the army not to like join the training uh, everyone should be ready to fight <sighs> so yeah everyone is ready yeah maybe you know when you're living uh, with war uh, you never know when you will be called because uh, even for me like of course some um, uh, I'm worried. I'm worried about it because uh, I can be called any time. I can be called any day. <sighs> but uh, you see, like, yeah, I have nothing to do. Like instead, so I'm here. And uh, in case if uh, I need, if they will need me, yeah, I'm ready. And it's same as for my friends and other people because. Ukrainians are fighting for their home, their land, their people, relatives, country, and uh, Russians uh, are fighting for, I don't know, for what, <sighs> fighting for money, fighting for money. Yeah, this is the only one motivation, because I don't think that uh, those uh, soldiers, like, like young soldiers my age, they believe that we have here some uh, Nazi or fascist and uh, like we treat people who, we, we, we treat people who speak uh, Russian or like all those uh, uh, bullshit that they are saying about us. Um, yeah, I let me go back. As long as Russian protests peacefully and don't kick the Russian police with weapons and molotovs, nothing will change. I don't think that uh, many, many Russians will go to the protests and demonstrations because many of uh, them are afraid. Many of, of them don't want to be jailed and many of them just don't care about everything. <coughs> Mark, hello. Ukraine must win Europe's economy and its Ukraine along with its energy resource. Uh, do the siren cause you anxiety or do you get used to them? Are they in your area? Yeah, the siren is just next to our building and uh, like we heard siren for the last few days it's uh, every three four hours. I used to sirens. It seems that everyone used to them. Like you know, it's before mm, it was not uh, it was not so so usual like uh, like now, but uh, the most horrible when it happened during the night, like when you are sleep, when you have sleep, and uh, you have you heard this siren sound, and it's like the the first day because on the first day we also had siren and it was uh, six six a.m. in the morning, it was dark because it was winter. And we had that siren, and uh, like every time when you heard a siren during the night, you remember the first night. <coughs> uh, Alessa Loveto, so happy to see you as always. Worried about you in Luba, I thought you had been drafted. My prayers are with you both. 
and you stay safe. Thank you, Alessa. And Tina Braxton, we love you, Paolo, but do stay strong. Thank you, Tina. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Uh, Russia will need 300,000 extra symmetry plots. Seems so. Uh, People need to realize how crucial Ukraine really is for the economy on the European continent and other places like Africa. I heard that uh, uh, Zelensky sent uh, many, many ships to Africa, like uh, freeze the support of the, uh, I forgot the word, grain, yeah, grain. Ridiculous, Daniel, yeah. Yes, Daniel. Mm, Aaron Dillon, remember one well trained and battle hardened Ukrainian soldier is worth five and trained soldier, Russian soldier. Russia is threatened by Ukrainian success in the world's arena. We won't give up on Ukraine and UK. Thanks, Aaron. Yeah, it's true. And the whole world see Russians defeat. And the whole the whole world knows truth. So I don't know. It's like it's so like shame shame on russia because of uh, everything like every day after every day like i hate russia more and more i hate like everything which is near to russia like every time when i read such uh, every time when i read uh, some propaganda news because uh, i also i also check in uh, propaganda channels like in telegram propaganda websites like Russian state media and I'm just trying to read what they are writing there and it's also so they like called us ah uh, I'm I have this like I'm so angry uh, everywhere they call us uh, Nazis everywhere they call us fasc fascist they call us Bandera they called us uh, like, uh, ah, sorry. Uh, one second. Uh, anxious. Alexandros, uh, no, I'm not anxious. Uh, I'm just, uh, just have a lot of uh, thoughts. I have a lot of emotions and it's really hard to share everything because uh, like you know that English is not my native language and uh, I can't uh, describe uh, like everything what I feel inside like I am or you maybe you ask me about something other David Tone totally uns 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 unnecessary I don't is it correct? Ancestry, this Ukrainians and Russian alike, all because of one man. How the hell does one man have so much power? This is just because of he's the president for 20 years. Can you imagine, like, uh, how he is used to be the president and uh, he can't, uh, like, uh, just leave? He can't say just, like, goodbye to everyone and uh, go somewhere. He's like uh, under like drugs. No. Uh, Rindra, can we talk politics with Russian speaking Ukrainian? I mean, I'm working with a Ukrainian guy who only speak Russian now and I'm afraid to talk politics with him. <laughs> uh, Rindra, Malomana, you have a hard surname. Many, many people in Ukraine speak Russia. So it's it, it, it means nothing. Even our president, Volodymyr Zelensky, he also speaks Russian. I mean, not like on the, mm, like the whole time, but he can speak Russian. And before he became the president, he he spoke Russian. Uh, like, so it, it, it means nothing. Many people from the East speak Russian. Many people in Kiev, even in Lviv, some people uh, speak Russian. So like... You don't uh, judge such people because uh, yeah it's just language and you know that ukraine is multilingual multi-language country uh j pasa best wishes from los angeles hi there that fat guy hi there that fat guy i uh, remember your 
nickname Jackie Selwright. Uh, Moses exodus high Paulin Luba most most importantly be sure prepare yourself spiritually from the beginning of the time it has been shown that this earthly ex existence is extremely temporary thank you Moses I will uh, Anthony Ellis hi I'm from England I do hope you're all ok and safe or safe thank you Anthony mm. Why would they surrender? They are winning. Uh, who? Casima. It's not a problem of neighbor. It's a problem of regime. Yeah, this is the problem of regime, which our neighbor has. This war will go through the winter, and Ukraine has uh, the upper hand, especially if her son is liberated. Are Belarus Russia really different from Russia, like Ukraine is from Russia? I know few people from Belarus or Belarus um, like they are good guys and and uh, mostly all people from Belarus uh, they are more close to like young people from Belarus they are more most close to Europe to European countries but the elderly people of course they are closer to Russia and they believe to Lukashenko, they believe to Putin. <sighs> mm, I want to visit Ukraine, where would you recommend me to go? Mm, everywhere. But uh, you should come here after war will end, like during the peaceful time, not now. Kyiv, Lviv, Odessa, Kharkiv. But of course, as for Kharkiv, uh, Kharkiv is, you know that Kharkiv was shelled and many 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 buildings there were ruined like and uh, became rubbles but before uh, I've been to Kharkiv uh, two times and Kharkiv was really beautiful city and of course I, I believe that after everything will be over Kharkiv became more beautiful than it was before how do you think the Belarusian feel about what's going on? It depends on the Belarusian, like depends on the source, like so information source uh, which they are watching, listening to. Uh, at all, Mark Nikoli, hi Paolo. It is, it is, hi Paolo. It is. I am from Aberdeen in Scotland. Who comments your trips and host life? Host life is Lubeck. Ah, you have so many mistakes, mental. Thank you so much for your comment. Uh, Paolo, have you ever watched some of the videos of 1420? They are a bunch of young Russian people asking really tough questions, very passive aggressive. Yes, I do. I do watch some videos. I do watch uh, uh, videos which are about Ukraine, like questions about Ukraine, questions about the war. And it's interesting to, to watch because uh, yeah, you see the like reality in Russia, reality that uh, many people still support, many people don't care, and some people against. Maybe we'll uh, see such of uh, 1420 videos today. 1420 are great. Yeah, they are doing a good, good job. Uh, would you do a collaboration with Konstantin from Inside Russia channel? I also uh, see videos from Konstantin. I don't know. Maybe, maybe one day we'll do some collaboration. I, I know that he is doing the live streams uh, almost every day, and he's he's a good speaker. <coughs> How many percent speak Russian and Ukrainian in Ukraine? Is it really a language subject? Mm, you know that I I think that before war started. Uh, more Ukrainians uh, spoke Russian. Like it was maybe like 60 versus 40%. But now less and less people uh, is speaking Russian. <coughs> uh, 
uh, lovely lyrics. I'm so sorry you're all having to deal with a crazy person taking and killing your people. Thanks for support. Lovely. Mm. Please keep calm and see while we pray for the success of Ukraine. Thanks, Jay. Thanks for moderation. Thanks to my modera moderators. They are doing a great job. Oh, I lost my last chat. More adventures. Thank you for a super chat, but I don't know your message. I don't see your message because uh, it seems that you wrote something, something bad. <coughs> Grace Tenos, thank you so much for super chat. Ukraini Heroim Slava. Lee M, for treats for your puppy and a beer for your good self. Stay sound from the UK. Thank you, Lee. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much. Pete Doroshenko, Dobry Vecher, Paolo, warm regards to you, Luba Jack, and the rest of the family. Slava Ukraini. Dobry večer, Pete. Good evening. Good night. Uh, it's uh, almost 1 a.m. in Ukraine. Dobry večer, Pete. Thank you so much for super chat. Thank you so much for watching and uh, leaving your comments on uh, my videos. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate everyone who, like, who leave comments, who are watching me. <sighs> Uh, tell a guy, Paolo, you, need, you needn't worry right now. War is scary, but Ukraine is not in danger of losing right now. Putin is scared. I hope so. <coughs> uh, Andrea Hall, we're all thinking of you and your family and country. I pray peace will come quickly. So sorry you're going through this terrible time. Thank you, Andre. Are you able to move to USA? Mm. Well, uh, I'm able, but not now. Yeah, siren. I don't know if you hear it. Yeah, some of you asked me about the siren. So, yeah, guys, this is the reality of our life in Ukraine for the last seven months. <sighs> yeah, let's let's have a little break and I will uh, return to you in uh, five minutes.
Yeah, I'm here. Cool. Let's continue, guys. Yeah, so this dancer to... I forgot how I about the sirens. Yeah. So this is the regular sound for every Ukrainian now. Sid Akbar. Я розумію, брат Павло, у мене є сім'я в Україні, які я отримую, включаючи мою дівчину, з кого що дружитись на солодці, брати бокс з нами щодня. Thank you so much, Sid. Uh, do you use translator or you just know uh, Ukrainian? Eric Dyk, <coughs> Eric Dyk, stay safe, Paolo, stay optimistic, thank you. Uh, hang in there, bro, we support you, thanks, Mark Plo. Hello, Paolo, Mots and friends, hi, Grovy. Uh, lovely lyrics, it's hard to believe that such as senseless things happen happening to Ukraine, you can see the emotional mental toll it's taking on Zelensky, it's so sad. Yes, we're talking about the Zelensky, can you imagine just how it's really hard to to be a president during such time, to be a president during the war. I can't imagine like the schedule of, like the daily schedule of Zelensky, like that guy he deserves like the best he deserves everything which we can wish uh, like to such people i don't know like everyone is uh, everyone respect everyone is proud of our president uh ukraine is safe relatively speaking he doesn't need to leave the front is well defined uh, how much does gun cost on the black market? I don't know. Rim Gaudus. Hello from Philadelphia, USA, Slav Ukraine. Hello, Derry. Uh, Whispering Canadian, thank you so much. And do you think that 300,000 new soldiers will change the war? I don't think so. So today, uh, I watched some Ukrainian military experts experts yeah uh, and they they said that this mobilization in Russia this is like the new episode for Russian propaganda like they can say that now we'll have uh, more people we'll create more troops and uh, we'll win Ukraine for sure like so now they can feed uh, people who are watching them, people who are believing them, with this uh, like new message that uh, we have mobilization and uh, like everything uh, will change. But of course, uh, for Ukraine, I don't think that uh, we have uh, like that something change. <sighs> Anybody else have any hard time here in dear Paula? Uh, what do you mean? Судман Сумиша, добрый вечер, Павло, добрый вечер. Of course, you are worried who would not be worried in the current situation. Yeah, maybe only an idiot would be not worried. Harry Ivasyuk, a Pablo think better to get training now through the one of the territorial defense units as the last place you want to learn is on the battlefield learn well so you have a better chance to survive. Um, well, as for territorial defense, uh, we like we really we really have uh, less territorial defense. Uh, I have not seen territorial defense for the last few months. Maybe only like between uh, really like major cities, but uh, in uh, small towns, uh, in villages we don't have now territorial defense and uh, yeah and as for the learn on the battlefield uh, like all people who are joining ukrainian 
army, they have training, and you know that uh, many people uh, visit, like they go abroad to pass the training. So, yeah, I'm not worried about that because, uh, of course, like uh, they have some procedure, they have some plan to every people to everyone who who joined them. So I don't think that this problem. Uh, Putin partial draft announcement appears to spark scr scramble to leave Russia as uh, flights fill up. Yeah, it's true. Like all uh, flights from Russia to nearest countries, like to Georgia, to Turkey, like uh, all tickets were sold out today and for tomorrow and for the day after tomorrow. Mm. When the government of the countries will fight for their own fights. Ukraine has a great military, they need more weapon, but as a retired veteran, I would fight with them any day. Thank you so much, Tele Guy. Yeah, the only one problem which our president also uh, mentioned every time that we we need more weapon, we need more ammunition, ammunition and uh, but yeah, land lease will work soon. Like starting from the October, we'll have land lease and uh, we'll have more weapon. Uh, Russian troops are not trained and out of shape. Nothing to worry about. And po, 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 po. Uh, do you think Russian reservists will actually fight or run away like their colleagues? Mm. Of course, it, it depends on the person because you know that there are still many Russians who are who wants to fight, who wants to go to the war. But uh, I believe that. Uh, more than half of, the, of those people are just not signing the contract or they are just trying to escape uh, this duty. Uh, Mr. Sparkles, it's understandable. We're all feeling a lot of emotions, I'm sure, for you even more so. Thank you, Mr. Sparkles. Uh, where did you m meet your wife? Any sisters? <laughs> Yeah, this is the common question, like, do Luba, does Luba has a sister? No, she doesn't. Can Putin mobilize 200k? Greg, hi there, Cla Greg. Yes, he can. Can he feed them and close them? No, he can't. Uh, can he supply them with tanks and al al artillery? No, he can't. Yeah, it's true. Hi, Gregory. Uh, in all work, we can only control how we react. Rem remember law is key? We have faith in you and your family. Stay focused on this, and your light will shine about these hard times. Thank you, Lechners. Uh, Jack Meffer. Mehofer. Yeah. I'm sorry if it's not uh, correct. Stay strong. Thank you so much for Super Chat. And uh, DS Spencer, thanks for joining membership. And nobody can hear you. Turn the volume up. It should be the maximum yeah it should be the maximum maybe it's uh, this issue on your side i can hear him just fine yeah so we can hear fine mm. can you understand russian if you only speak ukrainian oh, yeah. like uh, i will uh, repeat again that all ukrainians okay let's say 99 percent of ukrainians understand russian you know, it's like, it's automatically because uh, Russian language, uh, like ev everywhere. And even if your parents, even if your family speak Ukrainian, you still will learn uh, Russian because people on the streets, like people uh, at school, in university, speak Russian. So like this language, it's like the bonus, you know, maybe it's a bad bonus, but uh, yeah. Everyone in Ukraine understand Russian. Everyone, even in Ukraine, speak speaks Russian. Yeah, I, I, oh, let's say ninety nine percent. Paul, your audio is pretty low. Uh, I don't know because uh, I set up audio. 
Ah. Um, pa, 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 pa. I'm sorry, maybe I have not set up my audio. Mm, let me check. Uh, yeah, maybe I uh, haven't set up my audio and that's why you heard me because now it should be it should be better. Why do you look so worried? Mm. I'm, I'm not worried or what are you talking about Germany? Why why are you looking so worried uh, when we have a war in Ukraine or what? Or here in the comments? Uh, bro, I have a question. Any flight sim or remote control airplane activity lately a good way to escape from the madness? Uh, Jax Wolf, thanks for super chat. Estonia best ice skater, so uh, if multiple people say the volume is kind of low, maybe it is actually low, especially especially when viewers have to max out the volume. Yeah, maybe it, it it was really low because I I haven't set up my mic like I haven't uh, chose the main mic for my laptop, but now it should be better. Uh, Terry Douglas, we are here for you, Bart. Thank you so much, Terry. Turn up volume. Artur Lenko, since you're Ukrainian. Uh, Ricardo Fayotto. Hi, Paolo. If you and Europa looking for a safe and very nice place to be until the war finish, go to Brazil and you will find city found by Ukrainian. Hmm. Which one, Ricardo? Sounds interesting, but you know that... Uh, yeah. <laughs> We will go there only after everything will be over, only after our victory. Will you and your family be ok if you are called to the war? Can I ask what age you are? I mean, when, when I was uh, in my 20s, I would have been afraid to go to the war, please. Uh, yeah, I talked to you, I talked to my parents and of course uh, they are not happy to hear that. Of course, uh, no one wants uh, and uh, no one and everyone is uh, worried about that. Like a any mother, don't want, uh, doesn't want her son go to the war. So, uh, Paul, do you think NATO members will not send more heavy and advanced weapon systems? I hope so. Yes, I hope so that uh, after Ukrainian uh, success. In the East region, they see that uh, like we, sh we should send more, because uh, the more they send, the faster we'll win. <coughs> uh, let me go back. Uh, Max S. Camilla, take care of yourself, thanks. Speak into the microphone more if you can. It should be okay right now. Anyone watch Daily War Days from Dennis? Uh, I know Dennis. I watched uh, some of his video, but uh, the problem that not 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 the problem. Uh, like I watched the because of I'm Ukrainian and I have uh, like the first source information, so I can see directly from the sources, which I have. So, like, I, I'm not a regular uh, person who watched his videos. But sometimes, of course, it's interesting to see what he's talking about and uh, what he's showing. A street Roger, it's uh, 1 a.m. Do you contact with any friends that are in Russia? If so, they do, what they say? I don't have friends in Russia. Uh, hi, dudes. Hi, Guitar Diary. Uh, the flight pressure doesn't mean pressure there it will be a lot to board flights leaving Russia they will be stopped 100% who knows 
Uh, uh, it's like I didn't know it's just Cyrus near Paula. Yeah, it's just near. Maxim Lysenko. Salut. Do you love your president? Of course I do. I hear you very well. All right, Vanessa. Uh, uh, Mr. Bowie Angels. Hello, Paul. I was watching the Moscow Live broadcast. They have many people there are against the war. If you may agree that Russian people need to stand up and protest the war. Of course, I do agree. Scott Dodgley, how much has your day to day life changed since the so called special operation started? Like everything changed. Changed. Like it's really hard to 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 say like every uh, everything what changed. But the, the life is completely different. Mm, Alexei Navalny Twitter talked about the Russian recruiting from the prisons. They are desperate. Yeah, one more, one more interesting fact that uh, they are also changed the law. They uh, add some uh, laws about desertion. Like the person who who will desert will be jailed, but now they have uh, like. People who are in prison, they are drafted to join Russian army. This is the this is the, this is the nonsense. So if you can be jailed for not joining the army, then you can go to the prison, and in prison you will be drafted to the army. Uh, Jean, yes, thank you, Paolo. The language is another question. Thank you, Jean. Audio is fine. And get money. Audio is perfect. Audio is so good. Sound is perfect. Uh huh. Uh, we hear you loud and clear, but now there is echo. Oh, sh. Yeah, so it seems uh, everything was good. I'm sorry, you see that I I, I was reading uh, your comments, uh, which were on the top, and now I just come to the... Your voice has gone... Echo, 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 I'm sorry, echo. I see... <laughs> Whoever told him to fix it should be banned low. <laughs> Uh, shorts. Так, було два мікрофони включено. Я не знаю, що це за ерунда. Я вже вимкнув. Yeah, it's good now. Yeah. Uh, all right. Let me let me try to to change the screen. Mm. Display Browser. Mm. Yeah, I'm still trying to... Do you see the browser right now? <coughs> Good news, I guess. We have... uh, guys who are here, do you see my screen? Do you see the browser or no? Yeah, 
display capture, display capture. Uh, yes, 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 I see flag blue and yellow, and it also I see. Yeah, but do you see the browser tab? Do you see YouTube? We have a localization in Russia, and um, we made this video, are you ready to die in Ukraine, a couple of days ago, before the actual mobilization. And also... Uh, no, YouTube, no, 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 we we'll see, all right. Let me, I'm the new to this program. Uh. Oh, now seems that you see. Right? Uh -huh. Disclaimer. Even though the title says, Are you ready so this is this is the new video from fourteen twenty. Uh, it's called "Are you ready to die in Ukraine?" Ukraine. We don't want people who die in Ukraine. We just ask them because they will be soldiers, right? And they might die in Ukraine. And also, this video is probably not monetized. So if you want, you can support us on. Patreon, PayPal, and other links. And also, important thing, uh, we showed people the video of, uh, it's not uh, actually the video, mm, some state Duma member, some official governor, right? He said that we need to have mobilization. Yeah, let's go straight to the video. Yeah, so in this episode, they are gonna ask, are you ready to die in Ukraine? Because recently uh, there was the leak of the conversation of the member state of Duma Security Commit that they are planning to do mobilization. Потому что я считаю, что вместо того, чтобы улучшать нашу жизнь, они, они нас загнали всех на войну. Они государственные преступники, и рано или поздно придется отвечать. So it, it was it was great Russian. Но no. он что думаете насчет его слов? Что, по счет по, по поводу победы что ли? Призовут, значит пойдем. Нет, значит нет. В принципе все правильно говорит и полностью поддерживаю спецоперация. Точнее, война, она уничтожает наш народ и гибнут наши русские ребята. This guy is talking about some something strange. Like he supports, I completely support. Наш... But he destroys our people, Russian guys. И гибнут наши русские ребята, также украинские ребята. Они выступают за то, чтобы мобилизация была. То есть, чтобы все поехали в Украину и отстояли ценности России. Как по мне, вот именно это неправильно, то, что должны ехать, непонятно, за что воюем и так далее. Yeah, you see, so this guy, he is saying some, something strange. He is saying that he supports this special military operation, he supports war. But uh, he against the war, he against the mobilization. So it's really. Uh, you can see the translation at the bottom. I don't understand them. <laughs> ah, subtitles, please. Uh, thank you, Adventures with David. Yeah, I'm sorry. Maybe. It was not. Now it should work fine. Возможно, слышали, сейчас ходят слухи о всеобщей мобилизации. Вот вы готовы были бы умереть в Украине за наши русские ценности, за детей Донбасса, за Путина? 
Конечно, нет. Почему? Просто не хочется. Не знаю, но я не очень поддерживаю эту движуху. Не, ну если будет мобилизация, убивать нацистов. Окей, погнали. So this guy is saying that uh, if they are going mm, subs of screen, we don't see the full video. Oh, I know, I know how I can check. I can run, uh, I can run it from my cell phone to see how it works. Because I, I I'm really very sorry. I'm using this uh, streaming program for the first time, and I'm just like the newbie. Uh, let me. Most of the people that they ask me to redecline and uh, not only to reverse including the final video. Probably no subtitles where you are because the region they have subtitles uh, in the video. Yeah, let me check myself. Boom. Boom. Uh huh. I see. I see. I see the problem. Display capture. Yeah, I found the problem. So now let me let me fix it. Yeah, now it works. And let me move my video. Родина у меня одна, и если вдруг произойдет какая-то катастрофа, если война перекинется на землю, где я живу, если война придет на мою родину, я готов. Если такая необходимость возникнет, я считаю, что это ну, обязанность любого, как минимум, патриота, не обязательно гражданина своей страны. Военную операцию, ну, мне кажется, вообще у нас президент невменяемый, ему срочно нужна психи психиатрическая экспертиза, мне кажется. И вместо того, чтобы помогать своим гражданам, ну, именно улучшать их жизнь, они начали эту, ну, эту войну, в которой Россия, понятно, что она уже проиграет. Это, это ну, уже очевидно. Да, вы видите, что этот человек говорит, что все правильно, правильно. He has clear mind, and he said it. Почти я надеюсь, мобилизации не будет. Даже если мобилизация будет, то будут отлынивать. Yeah, and this is what I was talking about. So, even if they will try to hire to draft three hundred k people, people will try to do their best to escape it. Очень сильно. У меня вот друзья из Донецка, которые сидят по несколько месяцев. Не вылезают из дома, из подвала к ним матери приносят еду, воду. Ну, нашу мобилизацию ожидает, наверное, примерно то же самое. Потому что люди ну, не понимают, за что им бороться. People don't know what they are fighting for. And it's so great that people who are who are young understand that. Because people who are like 45, 50 years, like they are ready to fight against fascists they are ready to fight against nazi in ukraine they are ready to kill bandera yeah and those people are out of there to die for yachts for palaces for money yeah. Хотим сказать, но лично я за него не отвечаю, что у меня есть гораздо высшие цели там по получению образования. You see, and it's it's really great that uh, 
young people, they have absolutely different goals in their life. To get education, to get some good job, to get the profession. Uh, Michael Austin, thank you so much for your super chat. You need a hug, but cash will help. <laughs> thank you so much. It's funny message, but yeah, in the, some ways it's true. Do you know the Neil who produce edits video? No, I don't. Mm -hmm. You're doing very well with the live stream. Thank you so much, Mark. It's looking good. Very great. Yeah, let me read your comment. Uh, in the beginning of the video, the uh, one guy says the state of November should be put up against the wall and shot. Yeah, he he said that. I think you super chat. Thank you, cats, cats. But where it is, maybe I missed it. Ah, adventure with David for you and Ruba Pablo. Cats, cats. David Dempsey. Thank you so much for for a super chat. Cats, cats. I'm sorry. Yeah, I missed your super chat because there are many messages. Slavo Kreni Pablo. Hope you and Ruba and your family are okay. Thank you so much. Cats, cats. Cats, cats. Great nickname, kids, kids. <laughs> uh, Paul, thanks for taking the time to do this video. Mind yourself, thank you, Luke Ronan. Instead of war, let's give leaders some boxing gloves and let them go with it. At it. <laughs> Even if we take Volodymyr Zelensky and Volodymyr Putin, you know who will uh, who will win. Volodymyr Zelensky, our president, he's the fighter he is the warrior and he 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 has great but uh, rookie bazooki we call it here like great biceps my audio has now an echo it shouldn't be <coughs> uh, hi I just got here sending prayers and love and light to you and and all Ukraine to protect you from the horrible person Putin. Thank you so much, the J Cat Lady. But in my Ukrainian last name, what's your Ukrainian last name, Cats Cats? Uh, it's true, yeah, our president is good at weightlifting. Before he... Ah, uh, guys, yeah, I know what I can... I know what I can show you. Before our president... Before our president became a president, he, you know, he's he was an actor, he was a comedian, and he was the leader of uh, the great show on a TV. And before he became the president, he even had the YouTube channel. I will show you right now. So. It was our resident channel where he filmed his uh, success in the gym. You see, it was four years ago. Yeah, let me find some uh, here. This is. Доброе утро, ребята. Вообще она сегодня совсем не дура. Такое бывает. На настроение, когда хочется кого-то. Можно бить и ногами? Да, догоним голову. Сегодня догоним голову. Большое счастье. Видите, день налажен. Хорошо, давай, мы подвигаемся. Yeah, you know, it's, you know, from one side is such amazing when you, when I was a kid, like I was watching his uh, TV shows, I was laughing because of his jokes. Uh, later, I was watching his uh, YouTube channel. I was watching his workout. And now this person is a Ukrainian leader. Mm, let's find. Yeah, the name of the channel is uh, the Kubiki. In Ukrainian, it means like uh, the apps. Kubiki, it means apps. Привет, ребята. Как дела? Тренируйтесь. 
Обязательно тренируюсь. Вот у меня сразу виден результат. Вот когда я начинал тренироваться, вот, вот, вот такие у меня были перчатки. Спортко. Спортко. Вот действительно, и то они были свободны у меня на руках. Без ТРХ это очень просто. Вы да. Представьте, что у вас есть, допустим... ТРХ. Представьте, что у вас есть ТРХ. И выполняете это же движение. Вы можете, если у вас очень широкий живым фактором всех упражнений. Еще один. С паузой. Есть. Хорошо. Как вы заметили, вес всего лишь 6 килограмм. Но это не потому, что Владимир не может сделать больше. А потому что... Стать очень большими, очень поворотливыми. Такими, как когда на максимальном месте. Держим. Один, два, три, четыре, пять. И отпускаем. Хорошо. Мы поменяем. And you see that uh, they have uh, how many? More than 20 episodes from the gym. And it's really it's so it's so hard to imagine like that president of your country is the person who like the uh, usual person like he was an ordinary citizen of course he was an actor he was famous but still he is uh, he was like me like uh, other people on the streets like he has never been uh, uh, in some authorities he has never been a deputy he has never been in the government and after that he gained 75 percent and became a president uh miss we lazy they are just saying about uh, reps like one two three one more like you know this uh gym slang <clears throat> women around the world with will agree your president has a great biceps yeah he's he is a great guy. Uh, I see many American women uh, have a low level crush on him. <laughs> America should have open borders with Ukraine for anyone who wants to immigrate here. That's a humanitarian thing to do. The talks before the military actions were not good. That's why it happened. If the talks were good, then one, no one would die. Tanya uh, Ivanov. I don't know uh, about which talks you are talking about, but you know that uh, like same for Russian government, they uh, they never talk good. They are always talk that they wanna like I don't know uh, fight against the collective West that the whole world against Russia, the whole world wants to destroy Russia, so... Uh, Paul, are you going to, uh, Paul, are you going to have to go and uh, fight in the East? Uh, SC Scott guy. Yeah, I talked many times. Uh, I have not been called yet because I have never had some ex military experience I like I'm untrained person and uh, if uh, they will call me of course I will go like I have no other choice <clears throat> what about Klitschko the ma mayor of Kiev nobody wants <coughs> nobody wants uh, to mess with Klitschko yeah because he can punch you uh, Сиема Павло, матч есть еще те за дом три кейту с продания действием заинтересованные поздравления с польски. Добрый день, Дэвид. That house unfortunately not under the sale. Maybe it was uh, sold out already. I don't know. Uh, as I mentioned, that house it belonged to our relatives, Luba's relatives, and uh, what happened to that house now I don't know. Maybe will be able to go there and uh, check maybe someone is living there because even after a year some people still ask about th that house if you are interested about uh, such houses i can do more videos about uh, like real estate in ukraine for low price <coughs> 
uh, Americans and Ukrainians from the countryside think the same. Uh, Terry Douglas, at least your president is not a hair sniffer and worse. That's what we have here in USA. No, I did not vote for him. I know that in US you will have elections in two, in two years. Yeah. And I also heard that uh, Trump is going to join the that elections. Is Transnistria a problem for Ukraine? And the police hide there. And uh, uh, it could be a problem for Ukraine because uh, that region is also like independent region where Russian troops based. I don't know about how many Russian troops there, but uh, like every region where Russian are not good for Ukraine. I don't think you understand what's going on. Russia is bringing in the military and not the DPR reserve. But they cover or get out while you still can peace. What I don't understand, uh, hippie farmer. You think that person who live in Ukraine, a person who are like uh, here and heard everything and uh, see it on uh, my eye. I see it on my own eyes, and you know that you and you think that you know something better sitting somewhere far uh, the, in the news yak 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 was more actions i really was frustrated and scared to see the ukrainian wax segment was today really hope crawl about the russians not they can get it because uh, just more people from both sides will die paul honestly believe you filming this youtube channel it's doing more good for ukraine than you having to go and fight you have really educated me about ukraine and made me to pay more attention yeah, this is what I also think about, like, uh, I have this channel, I have you guys here, I have so many people who are watching me, and I have so many, like, I had so many views uh, for the last year, like, I had uh, 30 millions of views, and, uh, like, I, I think that it was a good advertise advertisement of Ukraine to, like, the whole world. Even now I'm trying to film something interesting, even now I'm trying to film something useful for you. And I believe that after our victory, like everyone will have a desire to come here, to sp spend here some weekends or holidays, vacations. Maybe someone wants to find the Ukrainian woman here, like to marry her, to have family, to stay here. Uh, Carbon Forms just came to stream praying for you and uh, Luba safety. Hope Ukraine has freedom and peace soon. Thank you so much, Carbon Forms. Uh, Murder Russia, Orcs, Russians, Ukraine land of the elves. <laughs> yeah, of the good elves. Uh, adventures with Well for you and Luba. Thank you so much, Adventures. This is your second super chat. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it because uh, it seems that I already read your message. Artur Malinovsky, hello. Have you seen that Ukraine returned the fence out of style? I love your channel. Yeah, Artur, I, I already saw that, uh, that news. I already even see the conversation of Zelensky to uh, those guys. I'd like to know your thoughts on Belarus government and people. Mm. I can say nothing good about Belarus government because you know that uh, the president of Belarus is uh, same as in Russia. He is the president for the like 20, 26 years or, 20, or 25 years. Like he's the whole life president of the Russia or Belarus. But it's the same as uh, Putin. They are like brothers. And because of uh, the president of Belarus, we have... Uh, such events like uh, it was in Bucha, Irpin, Hastomel, in Borodyanka, because everything that happened there is the Belarus uh, is the re reason is Belarus and the president of Belarus who allow uh, Russians to 
just cross the border and attack Ukraine. I love listening and watching all of your films about the life in Ukraine. I want to come visit your country when the war is over. We can all party to get them. Thank you, Miss uh, Miss We Lassi. Thank you so much. Uh, great that Russian trolls have arrived. <laughs> yeah, I see. Thanks to my moder moderators. Uh, will Ukraine have elections if the war continues, Paolo? Uh, they know we'll have elections also in a few years, so I believe that uh, the war will not continue for a few years. And I'm not sure that uh, during the war time it's possible to have the elections. Like, uh, let's imagine that we'll have elections next year. <coughs> so I'm, I'm not sure that it's possible to, to do elections. Pak Putin, the dictator. Uh, bad dog, generally. Oh, it's already 2 a.m. here in Ukraine. And uh, I'm here for one and how many? Yeah, one and a half hour. One hour, 29 minutes. Uh, Robert S. Brother, get your loved ones out of Ukraine, war is hell. I agree with you, but... But... So some prayers for Ukraine, some of the loveless people. Thank you so much, Rizzi. People in countryside have a better food supply chain in Ukraine. <coughs> people uh, who are living in countryside, they have own garden fields, so they have own products. You should go to sleep Paolo, it's too late over there. Yeah, I will. I will go. Just uh, let me read till the end. Uh, Salty, uh, Pablo, what are your thoughts about the movie Ukraine on Fire by Oliver Stone? I don't know, let me save the name and I will check it today. Ukraine on Fire to Sun. <coughs> 2016, so it was uh, shot six years ago. What is a good Ukrainian film to watch? Oh, this is the hard question. A good Ukrainian film. <laughs> oh, really, really, I. It's hard to recall. You can try to watch uh, the Servant of the People. This is the Ukrainian serial with uh, Vladimir Zelensky with the president where he was the main actor I heard that they translated uh, that TV serial to net Netflix and Netflix buy the rights to show off the serial the name is Servant of the People uh, Robert S. Uh, Five Strong my brother thank you so much Robert Is Ukraine going to increase mobilization as well? Uh, no one knows for now. Yeah, let's wait for a few weeks and we'll see. Uh, do you know Bolden from YouTube channel, Bolden Bancroft? I know him, but not personally. Like, I know him by his video. Brian J. Mader, thank you so much for Shashlik. Oh, Shashlik. Yeah, I miss Shashlik. Thank you so much, Brian. Scotty. Uh, thanks for sharing your world with us, mate. Take care, Slava Ukraine. Thank you so much, Scotty. Heroim Slava. <laughs> the best Ukrainian film is The Fall of the Putin. Yeah, I I'm sure we'll film uh, such film after our victory. Or maybe even the serial. The series called Seven People's Hillary is definitely come and watching it. Uh, if you marry Luba after the war, you will have 10,000 people attending in person from channel. Yeah, you know, it sounds really interesting if I will be able to invite as many people as it will be able to come to our wedding. Like, 
ten hundreds thousands of people. Uh, how do you pronounce your name, Pablo? Pablo. Pablo. Yeah, this is my original. <coughs> this is my original name, Pablo. Uh, why I don't speak English? I need a translator. I don't know. Uh, good night to you and Luba. Stay safe, Pablo, from your adventures this day. Thank you so much, David. Yeah, guys, and maybe it's also time for me because it's too late. Yeah, I started uh, this, this stream late because I know that uh, many of you is from uh, USA and you are just uh, finishing your job, your work. So this it was like the best time. I guess uh, I'm currently watching Servants of the People and it's hilarious I believe it's three seasons and uh, one and a half uh, hour film stay safe Pablo and Luba thank you so much George Scott Schultz much love to you and your family and the people of your friend thank you so much Scott yeah and thank you so much to everyone who was watching me he here today thank you so much for your support for your kind words for your super chats for everything that you do for everything that you do to Ukraine for your support of ukrainians in your country that you provide your homes that you offer so many options to come so many options to come to the safe places i really appreciate it a lot and of course i never thought that uh, one day we'll be in uh, such situation as we know and uh, the whole world will support us and the whole world will unite like in you know, one family yeah, it's really great like we should help each other and uh, yeah this is the best what we can do to help each other thank you so much for watching me today i wish you a great day a great night a great uh, weekdays and i really hope to see you soon i'm tr i will try to do more live streams just to to talk to you i'll try to like create something interesting to interact with you to uh, to invite you to some calls with me maybe like doing uh, some video conference together but I, sh I need to think about it <sighs> yeah I wish you all best uh, I wish you peace and see you in the next episodes or live streams Goodbye.